raining cats and dogs out there. And this place isn't half bad. It's a lot bigger on the inside than what it looks like on the outside. Remind me of a summer cottage I have. Here, take this for me. Bring me a drink. But I'm not the... Don't worry about it. I'll put in a good word for you with the host, wherever he is. Not bad. Let me ask you, do you know what this dinner party is anything about? No. I have no idea. Hi, we just found out today that you had put up the cast list for one act. Me and her both got cast. Oh, that's that's like an old. It's got that poem that says. So, what do you have to say about being casted? Hold on, it's a really big mess. Hold on. Ooh, how do I? How do I? Uh. Hey, we have rehearsals today for school. Oh. Okay, so uh, uh, Universal. Okay, that's it. Oh, for Universal, yes. Hi. Say something. What? what? About being casted. You look so oh, good. I'm very excited about being casted. I like doing one act. Okay. Well, who's casted? Nick, you were casted. Yeah. What do you have to say about being casted? Um, I think it's going to be a great experience for me. This will be my first time. What else can I say? Just, I hope it's great. Javi, what do you have to say about being casted? Oh, she did? It's great, because it gets to show Jack what I can do as an actor, and it's great. Kippy! <laughs> okay, you guys. Okay, okay, okay. Let me know what you all think about Therese. Oh, she got Let's look at the cast list. That's oh me right there. God. Move out of my way. That's me right there. Move. Oh oh there. God, I am sorry. I'm sorry. Not big, that's not Big Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Move out of my way. I can't. I can't see it. Okay. Congratulations. Okay, guys. Congratulations, oh, everybody. Live. Thank you very much. Why do you have to go live? I have to go live. Why? Just go live in the middle of the street. I'm about to go there and start with the Therese, what do you have to say about being casted? What? What do you have to say about being casted? What should I say? What? What do you have to say about being casted? I feel like crying. This is the most happiest moment in my life. Me too. Tears, tears, tears. Oh, God. Melly, what do you have to say about being casted? It's about goddamn time. Happy birthday. Huh? I need a pen. Now she can take advantage of the stage manager. Stephanie. Hi. Stephanie, what do you have to say about being stage manager? Um, no, more stage manager. Oh my God. Oh. Maybe you haven't said anything about being casted. I know. What am I supposed to say? Say something. How do you feel? It's gonna be the greatest experience. When I got casted, it was because I broke my. I want to go to Disney World. I'm scared. Jack, I need a pen. Oh, I'm sorry. Go, Vanessa. Say something about. Me and Liz are gonna boss everybody around. Uh, that's, in, that, that's including me, you know. Like, I ever take anything from baby, for that matter, what? Vanessa. No, I don't. Like, whatever they are. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Like, whatever. Shut up. Oh my God. No, I can't even. I'll get you by. What do you think about the cast list? I think the cast list is great. Why are you liar? You know it's so. You know. Shut up, Yvette. I don't ever ask you. The best thing Stand up, please. What's going on? Away. I'm, I'm putting it away, Jack. Why do you think you're doing? I sit on autofocus. Yeah. Oh, Bye, guys. Have a good dinner. Jack. You did, did you? Yeah. Hey, you silly little girl. Oh. trip to Puerto Rico, okay? To San Juan. Good? Yes? No? What do you think? I want to go to Sao Paulo. No, first class to... And this is the man. I the bomb, as they told me. The bomb. <laughs> the Mac Daddy. The what? The Mac Daddy. Okay, sounds good to me. <laughs> Drinking 
drinking my Diet Coke. Because I haven't had normal soda since seventh grade. Really? Which was 19. Please. I'm sorry, guys. Please. This is. Because I didn't know where the hell it No, was. but you don't want a bigger steak, like a thicker one. I like thick steak. Well, would it like be coming down yeah, with a pointy end? What is it, 16? I'm um, what? Is it, shh, is it 16? 15. Oh, yeah, the big head. Just think about over in the His head is going to be bare. That's too much. It needs to be. Oh. If it's three inches, still make it. Just cut two inches. I'm sure you would, my boy. You love my daughter with the warm blood of youth. But you mustn't forget that I love my daughter, too. She's all I have. You must see that nothing medical science can suggest. Wait, until just lately, he was always quiet. I'll be sorry to lose him. What? An unusual case, a zoophagus. What's that? A life-eating maniac. What? Well, he thinks that by absorbing lives, he can prolong his own life. Good Lord. He catches flies and eats them. And by way of change, he feeds flies to spiders, fattens them up, and then eats the spiders. <coughs> Good God, how disgusting. But tell me about Lucy. Why did you send for me? Well, yesterday I wired to Holland for my old friend Von Helsing. He'll be here soon. The car has gone down to the station for him now. I'm going to turn Lucy's case over to him. Another specialist on anemia? No, my boy, whatever this is, it's not anemia. And this man who speaks a dozen languages as well as his own knows more about mysterious diseases than anyone alive. Heaven knows it's mysterious enough, but surely the symptoms are clear. Yes, so were poor Minas. You said you put the Constitution. Yes, Sir William Briggs ordered that. You see this mark? Well, Lucy and her fiancé, John Harker, gave their blood as well. So, three transfusions. And uh, the effect? She would be pale and weak again. She complained of uh, bad dreams. Uh, what ten, about... Ten days ago, we found her in the stupor from which nothing could arouse her. She died. It's not. A uh, Renfield, a patient of mine. This is a gross carelessness. Did you hear us talking? Words. 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 Become calm, Renfield. You know you mustn't wander about this way. Now how did you get out of your room? Wouldn't you like to know? Flies. I'm afraid you eat spiders too, don't you, Renfield? When well, you walk into my parlor, the spiders will fly. Floating squirrel. So you come with me. Renfield, if this happens again, you will get no more sugar to spread out for your flies. Flies? What do I care for flies now? Flies. Flies are a poor thing. Please don't take my new spider away. He's getting so nice and fat. When he's had another dozen flies, he'll be just right. Just right. Come, uh, come, Renfield. What makes you want to eat flies? The wings of a fly, my dear sir, typify the aerial power of the psychic level. And the spiders? Professor Van Helsing. Can you tell me why one great spider lived for centuries in the old tower of the Spanish church and grew and grew? He never ate, but he drank. And he drank. He would come down and drink all the oil off the church. The butter were take him away. One moment, Dr. Stewart. I want you to send me away. Now, tonight. Came here in a straight way so I can't escape. This is a sanitarium, not a lunatic asylum. My cries for disturbing to you. They will keep your daughter. Bad dreams, Dr. Stewart. Bad dreams. We'll see about all this in the morning. Well, why are you so anxious to go? I'll tell you. Have you the souls of all those flies and spiders on your conscience? I forbid you, big pig, me about souls. I don't want their souls. All I want is their life. The blood is the life. So? That's in the Bible. What souls are good? What are souls good for me? I couldn't eat her for a drink. Not too much to live, unhealthy. Go quietly. I want you to send me away. If you don't, it's a 
Matt. You must answer to my soul before the judgment and seat of God. <laughs> my friend, you're not hurt, are you? No. My deepest apologies. You must think my place to be shockingly managed. What is this herb that excited you so? Well, wolf's bane. Wolf's bane? What's that? I thought I knew all the drugs in the pharmacopoeia. One of the original bites of plenty the elder mentioned the plant. It grows only in the vials of central Russia. But why did you bring it with you? It is a form of preventive medicine. Well, we live and learn. I never heard of it. Sword, I want you to have that lunatic securely boxed. Anything you say, Professor, but it's my Lucy I want you to look after first. I want you to keep that man under observation. An interesting maniac, no doubt. But now, what about my daughter? I must see the record of his case. But, Doctor, Do I... you think I have forgotten why I am here? Of course, of course. I'll show you the records. But I don't understand why you're so curious about Brentfield. Because in your vast experience... The man will be any better than the others. I'm sure he will. Anyway, Lucy, now that I'm back, I'm going to stay with you until you get over this thing. Oh, John, but can you? You're working town. You come first. My dear, how can you say that you knew when you were just a little girl? I'm so high. Now look at you. What's charm, what's, what's beauty. A little pale, yes, but well, we'll soon bring the process back to those chips. You were so kind to come, Professor. This, no doubt, is the fortunate young man that you are to marry. Yes, uh, John Harker, Professor. Uh, look here, Professor, I'm not going to get you away, but if. Dr. Sewell will have me. I'm going to make him give me a bed here till Lucy gets over this thing. That's to tell me you in London, and of course I can't do any work. You're most welcome to stay, my boy. Indeed, yes, and I should have asked you to stay. I may need you. Now, Lucy, lie back so. Now, tell me, what did this first weakness first come upon you? Two nights after Paul Mina was buried, about the dream? Tell me about it. I remember hearing dogs barking before I went to sleep. The answer to the I left the reading lamp lit from my bed. But when the dream came, there seemed to come a mist into the room. Well, was the window open? Yes, I always sleep with my window open. The mist seems so thick, I can just see the lamp lit from my bed. A tiny spark in the fog. I saw two red eyes staring at me, and a livid white face looking down at me from out of the mist. It was horrible, horrible! Bad heads. Lucy, why didn't you tell us? Lucy, you've worn that scarf around your throat to hide them? Do not excite her, do not press her. Well, Lucy. I was afraid they'd worry you, for I knew that Mina had Quite right, Miss Lucy. Quite right. They're not. No one but Hansen would see that this dream bother you no more. Count Dracula. Ah, yes. The most distinguished scientist. His name we know even in the wild, Transylvania. But I interrupt the consultation. Not at all, Count. It's good of you to come. And we appreciate your motives. Uh, Dr. Seward has just told me of your offer, and I can't thank you enough. It is nothing. I should be grateful. Heavens, Lucy, any way. What you do, Count, I look forward to your visits. They seem to make me better. And so I arrived to find a rival in the field. You encourage me, Miss Sue. To make them more frequent, as I should like to. I am always glad to see you. Ah, but you are lonely. In my efforts to amuse you with our own tales will no longer have the same success. Now that you have Professor Von Helsing, and especially now that Mr. Hartman is remaining here. How did you know I was going to stay, Count? Can the gallant ever ask such a question? I inferred it, my friend. You're right. Nothing is going to sit me now until this is as fit as a fiddle again. Nothing? Please come with the four pound, won't you? Do you understand? We will not answer best. She must not be left alone for a single moment under any circumstances. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Lucy, 
try to rest while, while, while I hope to get part of your painful thing. Wells, remember, don't leave her alone for a moment. No, sir. Professor Van Helsing. So, you have come from the land of the tulips to the nervous frustration of this charming girl. I wish you all the success. Thank you, Count. Do I appear vicious, Dr. Sue? I'm an only man, and you are my only neighbors when I'm here talking. And your trouble has touched me great. Although there are no rules. But you would... Lucy, you must do as the professor says. Come, Harker. Come, Harker. something, please. chair or step ladder and stand it back Jose they're looking down at the kids working honestly oh, you people don't know one. how to set up a shot anymore than the man in the moon hey, I'm an actor. Oh, <laughs> you are not you're you're an actress no no the actors are all called actors Oh, good. Okay. 
My call will reach you soon. For who would suspect even in his own time? For 500 years, he has been fettered to the castle where he must sleep by day in the rain. Five centuries past, the airplane is invented. His chance has come. For now, he can cross Europe in a single night. For all the matches, for looking his soul. God knows the devil is too strong. Set me awake. I want you to promise. If you will speak, then I will. How attractive it is. That, that, that. Master, yes, I wasn't going to say anything. I am loyal to you. I am your slave. There's a big fat flying around in a circle. It's gone. What's that just passing? Are you sure it was a dog? Well, it might easily be a wolf, but that's nonsense. Come, come, Redfield. What were you about to say? Nothing. Nothing. Professor, have you been Miss Lucy, give it to I am. Then in the name of the compassionate, merciful God, leave this place at once. But this is my home. Nothing would induce me to leave. Oh, that's true. You wouldn't go there twice to drag you away, would you? What a fool I am. I shall be punished for this. You can't do any good. You're so young. So beautiful. So pure. Even I have these feelings sometimes. But I must tell you, if you don't go, your soul will pay for it. You're in the power of that, that, that! The master is at hand! What a word! The curse not deep I looked. But what is certain? Here is my medicine for this. But we do not care for the smell. No, why is that? One does not even live in a single life. You for last to me. Not wise enough to return to Holland at once. Now that you've learned. You've learned. I prefer to remain here. Certain lunatic here attempted 
Go, I'm ready. Don't you leave me too? No, Miss Lucy. It's only a quell amongst the patients. Mr. Harper will be back any minute. Here, Miss Lucy. Parker! Parker! 
but save yourself. Oh, I warned you, my poor friend. in this room. If you sit over there or over there, up in the back, you can hear everyone crystal clear, perfect. If you're standing in the back by the booth, you can hear everyone crystal clear, perfect. Okay. Have you heard any? Have you heard anything around the house? Well, I heard Sasha say she wished she was dead. All right. Do me a favor. Call Sasha in. Why did you wish your father's death? I mean, he raped me, but I really didn't mean it. Katrina was the one who insisted something be done immediately. Who? Katrina Smith, my friend. Can you go get it? I understand you thought of taking drastic measures against Mr. Banks. I wasn't going to kill him. I was going to call the FBI and get him arrested. I couldn't kill Fly. Okay, call everyone in. I have to get, I have come to a decision. After speaking with all of you, I have come to the conclusion 
that the murderer, without any doubt, After speaking with all of you, I have come to the conclusion that the murderer, without any doubt, TV and I'm here with Rosie Morales who has just won an honorable mention for the Silver Knight Award in music. How do you feel? Ecstatic. <laughs> um, it was really um, exciting to win. I was not expecting it. I felt like I was in the Miss America pageant or something. I was like, oh, you know, but it's a great honor and um, I'm very proud of my accomplishments and I'm proud of all the girls and all the work that we did this year with our Silver Knights. The award not only is it about you know music and, and academics, but it's lot, mostly about um, community service. And I started um, two uh, music programs. I started a music appreciation program at a summer camp in St. Paul Lutheran Church for um, elementary school kids. And I started a music therapy program at the Miami Children's Special Cancer Clinic camp for um, young cancer patients. I'm going to put the plaque on my wall and um, polish it every day. Next year, I'm going to Florida State University, where I'm starting off as a music major, and I'll be moving into music theater. And I hope to transfer to New York and be a performer on Broadway. That's great. Thanks a lot.
Yeah, you did, dog. I heard him scream at you. I, I did too. Bye. Mr. Miggy, why aren't you cold? Got some. Ha! I don't know. Man, Miss Lee made us watch cats. Because I'm a sexy man. Hey, is Miss Lee from them cats, man? Hey, 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 Ron, is Miss Lee cool? No, I'm not cool. Because I found a patch on the floor. I had a chicken chair and I used it. Keep going. Oh, oh. oh. oh nice. This is our thespian club president. Michael Doing Gonzalez. Stuff. The lazy guy. I yep. hate to bother you. What are you doing? It's cold out there. It's in here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, um... Bored people. <laughs> you Woo! That's a cover. I know, my best friend. She's a princess. Like a poor lady. Something like that. She can't do it. Ready? Ready? She's totally not ready. What are you doing? So write your email this long. And only sent that to me. I know, I went on last night like one to see if you had replied. Have you ever watched that movie with, um... Just making sure. This party, with David Fett. It's like, this is bad. I got you, I got you. And I was like, what? Number two, uh, student ID, Mario. It's all day, does anybody care? No, I care, you son of a... Hey, hey, no horseplay. What? Of course I can do that. Ah! <laughs> no, that's not why. It's those damn booty sweaters, I tell you. And Anna. Anna, Anna also is one of the things you're talking about. Anna's booty booty. Look, say hi to the camera. It's because they're recording everything. It's that party here on Friday. Is everybody still going to bring their Why are you filming? Stop! Oh, my God. <laughs> I hate you people and skinny people and you're bald so I can't really like you but look at this, I hide her tires so bad. Yes, I'm telling you, yes, I was gonna tell you. Alright, we'll sell at fifteen dollars. Hey there. How are you? Oh, okay. What? 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 Hello, videotape Mr. McGee's red ass and like sweater and shit. We already got him going, I'm hot or something. You're making up those. Ready? <laughs> Friday is informational gathering. You can bring anything you want to eat. Don't care to see me again. What kind of junk is that? Come Friday and find out. You learn. Let's see what's not in TV. So you look. It is like. <laughs> I feel so bad. That is so wrong. Okay. Um, so today, we got to watch Back to the Future. Ooh, part two? No, part one is film analysis. Because you got to watch for uh, internalization of the characters. Can we Can Michael say, In the thing, and I forgot it's third period. And that's what I do best, I sleep. And now we're in third period and I'm supposed to be in AP history, but I'm here, because I overslept. Good job. Thanks, bye. I look skinny today. I did see.
Bad guy, you know. Someone sleeping in there? Was it Lori in there? No, Lori's not in there. Let me show you our, our little. I'm like, don't get too close because you might die. Look. I, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. There's well, people studying in there now. There's oh. someone studying in here, but this, this, was, this room here. I was here, sleeping in there. This is our our rest area, our rest home aside from our actual houses. Our Come studying. here. Studying. Our studying. Our studying area. For this is what we do. We come here to skip. We, we come here to, to skip. Fail. We, we study to fail. The now follow so us this? into the wonderful world of where Lori so dwells. This is where Lori dwells. She's not <laughs> here today <laughs> because she's probably at home sleeping in her own damn bed. <laughs> but this is her own little cave. That's where she okay. sleeps. She like oh She has God. children over okay, there. Okay, um, National Geographic, get the... <laughs> I thought she was too tall to And that, that that's, um, Cave Bear. <laughs> you better believe it. <laughs> what? Cave Bear? I don't even know what that means. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Well, the thing Muhammad yeah, Ali has it, he's like, you yeah. so, yeah. Michael J. Fox has it. Don't say that. But it's not developed. He has it, but he's going to get like that. Chris, you look like shit today. That's why I just woke up. You just woke up? I was sleeping in the... Oh, oh my God. Some incompetent moron is this shit. Chris, you have your fifteen dollars. No, I told you enough about that. I'll break your spring legs. I'll break your spring legs. That's what I'm doing. Get them balls. Get them balls. Hey, why you breaking? You look at her. Hey, turn the freaking camera off. I turn it, turn the freaking camera off. Hey, you don't want to turn it off? Hey, you better turn it. Hey, I'm gonna get you. Come here, come here. Goes off, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, but fuck me. She was blitzed in Jack's house. <gasps> How many people say that taco is so good? <laughs> no. I didn't see it. Hey, that looks bad. I know. Like, in the other camera, you can see it. That girl, huh? I don't think I'm going to have to walk on that. Oh, okay. Her name is my girl. Come on. It's something funny. <laughs> Woo! Please encourage, please encourage, please encourage. No, that's not funny. That's scary. I want the money tomorrow! Lights on before. I don't know. We weren't sure before. We, huh? we weren't sure before we were doing. We we're just getting stuff on video. Oh. Um. Hi. <laughs> um. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's not this one. Yeah. I'm looking for when I was insulted at um. What was what's this called? Laugh out loud uh, too. That's what I'm looking for. And that's what I'm doing. I'm sitting here watching my insults. Bitch. What? what? It's a few games away. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Exciting, somebody. We're eating. How do you expect this is minimally exciting? No, I have no idea. That's a lovely close up, Elizabeth. She's going, you want some? Yeah. Yummy. Yeah. Yummy. Yeah. Yummy. Yeah.
banquet. Yeah. A banquet? Oh, Get with Philip and say something funny. How about the three of you say something funny? Philip, Philip, try to pick her up. Try to no. pick her up. Oh, you guys. Now I don't see if you want to get a cup of coffee on here. She has no other friends in this country. This is her only friend. Because here are only Hispanic people. Shut up, your boyfriend's Hispanic. <laughs> and doesn't matter, he's Puerto Rican. What, what kind of Puerto Rican? That is Adam. What kind of Puerto Rican? Adam is funny, Adam is weird. I guess <laughs> you should listen to what he's saying. Hey. Hey. No. <laughs> what kind of Puerto Rican is Hernan? <laughs> Not the answer we were looking for, but all right. Oh man, hey. Look. I want a video. The Adam is oh. my stomach here. Um, uh, the thing is. 
guys, uh, yeah. Let's say put my hand up. Yeah. Yeah. Are you sorry now? Yeah. Please, that a bit. Hi, mom. I don't push, better push. I love you. Yeah, I don't like that shit. You look like you're, you're like being bored. Did you ever see Happy Gilmore? <laughs> That's not funny. Don't laugh at her. Don't encourage her. She only gets worse. Oh look, it's a naughty German. Stop doing it. They catch it, you're ugly. <laughs> what are you doing? Ow. Ow. Come with me, bro. Come with me over there. It's about mom had that sweater like 10 years ago. Don't you know that the camera adds? My brain cells died. Okay, 
my name is Mr. Mazzano. And first year, unfortunately, has to call me Mr. Mazzano, Mr. Jack, Mr. M, anything has to have a Mr. M. <coughs> Mr. Jack, Mr. M, Mr. Mazzano, whatever. Oh, yeah. All right, good morning. Since it's our first day, come join us. <coughs> Since it's our first, my first day here, I'm not gonna give anybody tardies today. We can get the end of getting caught. Uh, I have been warned by everybody in the building about this class. We are going to do at this point. I have talked to Mr. Miller and he has said we can do the show. We may do because we have 150 students in the first hour. Actually, they were very good today. I've heard really? horror stories. They were wonderful. Right. I told them point, point blank. I said, don't mess with me. As I said to them, we have Dade County prints these and prints these nonstop year round. And I don't hesitate to use them. I never, I think maybe the two years I was here before, I think maybe I wrote 50 of these in two years. Maybe 25 of these. Those of you who don't know me, all you kids that had me last year, you know what I say to you. All I ask is you do your work and try your hardest. For those of you who don't know me, your grades, okay, one of the things we have to do is try to make up all these grades you don't have. <laughs> okay, so. First thing you need to know is the grade you get is the grade you deserve. It's not a grade I gave you, it's the grade you got yourself. You do your work. You could be the most untalented person that God ever made. <laughs> but if you do your work, if you really work hard, prove, you turn everything in, take the test, and then you'll get a good grade. If you don't do your journals, 25% of your grade becomes a zero. Okay? All you have to do is do the work. No gum. That's one. Okay? I do not hesitate on this. Yeah, so. Any questions? You will. Let us sit, please. Let us sit. Let us sit. I don't know. I don't know how she's up to I don't know. I haven't seen one of these. What is it? I have my back. Um, there's our wonderful teacher again. He's back for Braddock Senior High. Drama Troop 4841. Thank you. Is that okay? Is that okay? What's so funny? I saw Billy's Hollywood screen kiss. Oh, you saw it? Okay. That movie's garbage, George. That movie's garbage. I was like, oh shit. Oh, shit.
I love you. Do it again, bro.
the winner is for the best dress suite senior for the year 1999, oh, Stephanie Acosta. Ha <laughs> ha 
can you please? I got a study! <laughs> Thank you.
know when some shit is real. Listen, sometimes it's new picture that throws a 91 mile per hour fastball. I want to know if you can pitch to me so I get practice more because none of the bright baseball players pitch more faster than 83. Thanks, your baby boy Chosky. P.S. Mama and Nips.
My test being true, I know you guys just met them.
Stop! Stop! <laughs> Alex is doing the this. The man behind the camera, baby. The man behind I'm the camera. Guy. I'm Seniors, that guy. Seniors, baby. Seniors. <laughs> I don't... Right, they're still hugging. They are still hugging. We've been at it for 20 true, minutes true, now. Let me see if I get a closer. <laughs> Exactly the same. I said equally. Happens, I suppose. You can't predict it, but someone suffers. Someone doesn't have to. But someone does. It's between Grace and her boyfriend. Leave him. Leave him? That's my advice. Leave him. Leave him? He's not going to abandon his wife. He might. I'm not saying he would. He probably wouldn't. I don't know. What should she do? Who? His wife. I thought you meant Grace. I feel sorry for his wife. Yes, well, I'm the one making all the sacrifices here. We all make sacrifices. Yes, but I'm the one living the half-life. Sneaking around, waiting for calls, hoping. She probably loves him. Who? His wife. Well, I thought you meant me. You'd have left him by now if you didn't love him. What about his wife? What about his wife? What if she left him? She wouldn't. She might. You're assuming she knows. She may know or she may not. Something keeps his wife from leaving. Habit, or need, or comfort, or she has nowhere to go, or it's love. Does she know? His wife? Does she? She knows him. If she knew, what would she do? Kill him. Kill him? It's quite natural. Kill him? She ought to. Well, it's extreme. He deserves to be killed, that's true. But he's only a man trying to live his life the best way he can. I'm not making excuses. Well, yes I am. He's the only man who's trying you to... You amuse me. Why? Because you do. Well, you amuse me. Why? Because you do. You both amuse me. His wife knows. What makes you say that? A hunch. Well, I feel sorry for him. Why? Uh, I'm up there and look at the building soon or something. Do you understand? <laughs> No, just look ahead. I'll pretend I'm not there. Go, 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 go. There you go. No, you would actually see. <laughs> Words need to come from your mouth. I know they used to want me to mime it. All right, mime it completely, but just very physicalize it. All right, then just go. Just go. Just go, just go, just go. Whatever you want to do. When I became a nun at a very early age, I had to choose between the convent and a life upon the stage. So when Reverend Mother said we're putting on a show, I must tell you, I was thrilled to death. I couldn't wait to go. Well, now to my surprise, Reverend Mother didn't see what's so obvious. The stage was meant for me. Money and fame I don't desire. I only want to sparkle. I'm not here to start a fire, you see. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> 
part where you're jumping around. Just like that line? Yeah, just those lines. It's difficult, I know. And I am staring with horror at a box of Cocoa Puffs that didn't wham. It was like the earth died bombed into another universe and my shoes weren't sticky enough to hold me on. I decided to head on out for the exit. Dodging housewives, tripping over children, grocery carts, forming blockades. I see a giant toilet paper pyramid. I hurtle over it, jump over the sticky stuff, and I am free. <laughs> no, I found I like the serious one. Do you want to talk to this person? As to, like, no, no. Close that door. <laughs> like, wait. Right. What? I don't know. What are, you, what are we saying? What are we saying? Uh. Do you have a mic? You guys have really no. bad moments. I don't want to do this. I know this is Stephanie. They can edit it out. You can edit it out. Yep. Okay. What do we have to say? To check what, we have to what do you feel about theater night? Theater night. All come together. Speak louder into the camera. No. Why? Why are you sitting on a pink table? Feminine makes me feel girly. Mm. <laughs> girly? Girly? <laughs> I never really liked drama. I got into it by mistake. I'm gonna be a marine biologist. You should not make faces like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting that on. You will put it on. I will put it on. I will put it on. If you do that, you won't have my friendship anymore. I don't I don't right now, so what's the deal? You'll never get your pictures back, Mario. I, I'll break into your house. You live two blocks away from me. She'll move. Oh, what a change. Oh, you know what you should no do? Partner. You should be like, what do you think of the internet? And they both walk out. <laughs> Melissa, sit down. Let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> We're both talking. Uh, do you think a POV, like, walking over here? Like, what? if you're like, are we supposed to get t-shirts? For what? Adventure? I got mine. Yeah, I'll get you one. OK, all right, ready? Be talking. Wait. Be talking. OK, look. We're just talking, and then you tell us, what do you think of the internet? <laughs> okay, ready? Be talking. <laughs> okay, so what do you two think of theater night? Stay away from the chairs. Okay. I have a thing. It's called an extreme close up. <laughs> the nostril. Mario, do you have like a footage? Much more time. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it's like scheduling like three wishes along with I mean whatever. Would you look at the camera, please? I've got all of the holes, red bag, pink bag. Okay, do something stupid now because I'm cutting it off. Huh? <laughs> Don't do that. Don't. What's <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lorena. What is it? Lorena. Does it look like right now? What do you think what? of the world? What do I want? What do you think of the world? No, what do no, I think of the that. world? No, just put I think it's round. I don't know what to do. Does it look like you have a smoke? Tell me what. Lauren. Say something. Hi, my name is Lauren. What do you guys want? <laughs> so, what do you think of the world? What do I think of the world? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Do you have any opinion? about the world? Do you have any opinion on it? Just give him an evil look. Do something stupid because you're, 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 it's not going to be talking. It's just your face. It sucks. It sucks and we should live in the moon. In the moon? Yeah. How would we walk on the moon? Uh, they're building like, like, a like, make them. Walk, walk on the moon, Lauren. Moon shoes. No, no, but how, how would you walk? Show me. 
like jumping. So. Get up on the stage and do it. No, 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 that's so stupid. <laughs> do it real quick. Come on. That's enough. It. Let's go. Craig. I know. I just didn't have the stream. Yes. Oh my god, that is so evil. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Blue! <laughs> Come on. I'm sorry about that. Do you need your house to be clean? Do you? Oh. Oh, you look so cute. Please. <laughs> why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Tell me this. Why? <laughs> sorry. Oh, so sorry. Right on the, I do all these different things. I just want to say that um, I think that you guys are awesome. I think that all the things that you have done and that you do for the school, I absolutely. What else can I say? I am at a loss for words, and for me, that's a very difficult thing. So I just wanted to say congratulations to all the seniors, and here's to the upcoming years for all the other underclass. Um, thespians, and um, I look forward to a great future with all of you guys. So at this point, I gotta go. Bye. There's something on the camera. What am I supposed to say? I don't know. Dance or something. Dance. Dance.
Anyways, um, <laughs> I hope you'll enjoy it. In the Grecian times, men of honor showed their spirit of sportsmanship in something they called the Olympics. So we would like to present to you our six minute tribute to the Olympics. <laughs>